This week on Bren's Bits, I'm going to talk to you about locks and chains. Don't worry, I'm not being kinky or anything. Though, I did do a bit of that when I went to Amsterdam with the lads. Uh, still got the burn marks on my wrist from the handcuffs. And uh, it took me two and a half days to get the chocolate out of my chest there. And I'm telling you what, that's one video you won't be seeing on Men and Motors. No, I want to talk to you about security chains. And in front of me here, there's a wide selection. Now, the best advice I can give you is... The more money you spend, the better. There's some here for a tenner, and there's one even there for 130 quid. 130 quid for a chain. The thief wouldn't know whether to nick the chain or the bike, especially if it was a 250 Super Dream. So, from 130 quid down to a tenner, and I'm going to show you what a tenner buys you. Basically, I picked this up from a car boot sale, and I'm telling you what, a scally would bite through this in two seconds. It is crap, and it tastes crap. <laughs> look at these disc locks. Quality. And look at this. Another £10 special from a car boot sale. It's made out of toffee. Out of all the locks we've looked at, this one is probably the most effective. What you do is basically, you attach one end to your headstock, and the other end to one of these. Nice doggy. Nice doggy.